tree looks like a mouth. <laughs> Wufu? <laughs> oh. <gasps> ah! Ah! A monster tree! Ah! <laughs> hmm. oh. It's not a monster. It's a Venus flytrap. But oh. does it bite us? I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. Did you know? Every plant needs food from the ground to grow. Just like you need food every day. But this Venice flytrap lives in swampy places where the soil has almost no food. So it came up with a super smart idea. It catches bugs like flies, ants, and mosquitoes to eat. <laughs> Instead of just growing leaves and flowers, hmm. it has traps that look like mouths. Inside the plant's mouth, there are tiny little hairs. When a fly or an ant touches them for a few seconds, the plant knows, aha, that's real food. Right away, the trap snaps shut super fast. The bird gets stuck inside, and the plant releases special digestive juices. After a few days, it soaks up all the nutrients and gently opens again, ready for its next meal. It might look scary, but the Venus flytrap only eats tiny bugs, not people. Besides the Venus flytrap, did you know there are around 700 kinds of carnivorous plants in the world? Take this pitcher plant, for example. It gives off a sweet smell to lure insects. Then, snap this leaf shut. And this is the sundew plant. Its leaves are super sticky. When a bug touches them, they curl up right away. Bladder word. This plant has tiny bubbles called bladders. When a little bug swims by, the bubble sucks it in and the plant eats it. Wow! That's it for today. Join <laughs> Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. <laughs> I want to fly like a bird. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> How can mm. you fly, Doctor Hoot? Do you want to know the secret of birds? Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you. Let knowledge click. Birds can fly thanks to their special body structure, strength, light weight, and speed. When birds flap their wings down, their wings look like upside down spoons. They push air down, and that helps them fly up. Airplanes also use wings shaped like this. Ooh. Birds keep their wings steady and use their tails to steer and stay balanced. Flying must be super tiring. Why don't birds ever get tired wings? <laughs> That's because birds have super strong chest muscles. A bird's bones are hollow inside, like a straw, so they're super light. Thanks to this, birds are very light and can easily fly up into the sky. Wow. However, not all birds can fly. Take a close look at these birds and guess which ones can fly. We know these birds can fly. Sparrow, eagle, wild duck. That's right. And birds like ostriches and penguins can fly. But they are excellent runners or swimmers. We got it. Do you know why bats sleep this way? 
Let knowledge click. Why most animals go to sleep at night, but come out to find food, and during the day they sleep instead? Bats usually sleep in groups, huddle together in dark, quiet spots. But why do they have to sleep upside down like that, Professor Hoot? It's because their back legs are quite weak, so they can't land on their feet like birds do. Also, bats can launch into the air from the ground, so sleeping this way lets them fly away instantly. This comes out handy in case of danger. Hanging up high also keeps them safe from other animals. And since they don't need to share purchase with birds or other animals, they always have a spot to rest. But how can bats hang on so tightly without falling? Their muscles are designed so that the more oh. they relax, the tighter their claws hold on. <laughs> What are we going to do with it now? If a bath is in your house, don't touch it. Just open a window and let it fly out safely. I got it! You want some water, too? <laughs> You're silly! Fish are already in the water, so they don't need to drink. Some fish do drink water, and some don't. Do you want to find out why? Yeah! <laughs> Let knowledge Click. Do fish drink? It depends where they live. Ah, Salt yeah. water or fresh. <laughs> oh. yeah. For fish that live in the ocean, the water is super salty. More salty than the fish body. So the water inside the fish try to live and go out through its skin and grills. If the fish didn't do anything, it would dry out. So, ocean fish drink sea water all the time to stay hydrated. But sea water is salty, so the gills and kitties have to work hard to push the extra salt out. Fresh water fish are the opposite. River and lake water has less salt than their bodies, so water keeps sneaking in through their skin and gills. They don't drink actually. They need to get rid of extra water. Their kidneys are always busy. Now, let's try putting each fish back into the right habitat. Blowfish. Catfish. Dad and I once caught one at the lake. <laughs> Clownfish. I know this one. It lives in the sea. Oh, yeah! wow. Well done. <laughs> I believe you learned some facts about fish today. Oh. Discover everything around <laughs> us on Wolfu Explore Channel.